So, good afternoon. Thank you to the organization for inviting me first. And I know it's not the perfect timing right after lunch, but I'm going to try to do it as entertaining as I can. So, yes, I'm Esther Azcano. I'm the, HSEO, the head of SEO at Aviton, former Travel Worldwide. We just made uh, rebranding. I've been working here for five years now, and previously I was working at iProspect, so I've been like eight years uh, in total working on, on SEO. And we're focused on big clients, mainly this is one of some of our main clients nowadays, BBVA, BBVA, <laughs> Securitas Direct, a British Council, Coca-Cola, European Partners, and Spenson within others. So today we're going to talk about reputation on SERPs. Uh, I guess you're all familiar with, with this. It's not something new. We've been working in this for, for pretty long. But I want to talk about another point of view of, of analyzing it. So SERPs, uh, search engine results page for everybody, I guess I know. So uh, when searching information about a certain brand, product, or service, which channels do we usually use as users? I, I guess you're all thinking about search engines, right? The first thing we do, and there are some studies that, that say so as well, the first thing we do is to search on Google for a certain brand, product, services that we are aiming to, to buy. So why do we still focus on traditional online reputation tools? When we talk about online reputation tools, the first thing we do is think about Radiant 6, uh, Brandwatch, and these kind of tools that they're really useful for what they do. They do the clipping, they give you all the information that's appearing on the network about your brand somehow. But uh, it doesn't allow you to measure which kind of impact is that kind of results um, given to your brand. So we don't know how bad it is that someone is talking in a random blog or that a certain journal is talking about you. And we don't have either the impact of search engines with of that kind of, of web pages. Are they having visibility? Are they actually damaging my reputation? And on the third place, uh, we with that kind of tools, we get uh, automatical um, categorization of these kind of results are positive or negative. And we all know that machines are not yet um, prepared enough to do this kind of analyze uh, right away and 100% trustable. So this is the reason why we're detecting the need of creation of creating or analyzing the online reputation as SEO from another point of view. What is actually appearing on search engines? What is the user finding when they're typing our brand or any of our products with the brand in the in the keyword on Google? So this is how we started analyzing the reputation on SERP with uh, another way of doing it that is allowing us to measure the, important, the importance of a bad result on Google. And how do we do that? We uh, need to analyze or to know which URLs are the most damaging for our reputation out of everything that everybody's talking about us in the internet, what is actually damaging our reputation on SERPs. It also allows us to know which keywords are, which branded keywords are activating worse uh, results on search engines. And on the third uh, way, we monitor the evolution of that negativity. One of the main reasons why we started analyzing it this way is because we were, at, uh, we were working for our reputation client, uh, for, uh, for our clients on the reputation on SERP. And it was really difficult to show the client the effects of that of that kind of actions. So how do we measure that? As SEO experts, we are really used to using a visibility index that normally track the evolution of your positive visibility when your website is appearing for generic terms. And what we are doing is the other way around. We track the visibility of the people that is talking bad about us. It's like the negativity index. And we mainly uh, measure with the index the importance in terms of monthly searches of the keyword activating the results. It's not as bad having a bad result for a keyword that is searched 5,000 times a month than having it for one that is searched just five times a month or 50 times a month. Uh, the importance on the way of, in terms of positioning, 
of the possibility that negative results appearing, of those negativity resu negative results appearing. And in the third place, uh, the number of negativity results that are appearing on the SERP for your branded keywords. So the first thing we do is to weight how bad a result is depending on the position appearing. If we had a bad result for our brand in the first place, it's way worse than having it on the 10th place because we all know that it doesn't have the same visibility. So the first thing we do is to give each position a certain uh, weight from 1 to 0 0.1. And the, fall, and the second thing we do is to use the formula. We have different formulas and, and we use them all together to, to get a visibility uh, negativity index. So we sum all the negativity of our bad results with a table we've seen previously and we multiply it for the number of monthly searches. Let's see an example. Uh, I'm not talking about any of my clients for obvious reasons, so I was doing a bit of benchmark looking for big brands having bad results because of reputation problems. And I found Monsanto, which is an American brand, and it's an agriculture company, and it's uh, lately they are being related to cancer effects because, uh, well, some of their products, apparently people that are using them are having like healthy problems. So when you type their brand on Google, you can find from the USA, because it's a uh, USA brand, uh, you find four bad results on search engines. So following the same table that we were seeing previously, we would give each of the bad results the weight in, uh, depending on the position they are appearing. We will multiply it for the monthly searches and we will get a number. Okay, this number means nothing. And the, the, the index itself, uh, itself doesn't mean anything either. The important is what, how this index is developing, not just the number itself. So we had another keyword because when we do this kind of projects, we always use branded keywords. Of course, it's related to reputation. And for example, another keyword uh, Monsanto Bayer, that it, it has a lot of monthly searches as well, and it's appearing three bad results on serves. So again, if we do this process again, we give them the negativity in uh, uh, depending on the position, and we multiply it for the monthly searches. We would do this all over again with all the keywords in the project. Depending on how big the brand is, we would get more keywords or less. We normally have like 50 50 keywords with branded uh, important monthly searches. So the total formula that we use for negativity, uh, the total negativity of the project is taking all the negativity indexes of all the keywords, we divided it into the total monthly of searches and we multiply it for 100. And again, with the same example, we would take those keywords as, as an example and we would get this visibility index, 206. 0.1%. So why could this visibility index could be higher than 100? Because 100 would be the uh, having a bad result in the first position, but we could get a bad result in the first position, in the fourth, in the sixth, and we would get uh, a, a higher um, negativity index. So as I was, as I was saying, saying, this is not uh, the important thing. The important thing is from the beginning of the project, how this index is developing. At the beginning, when we started working in, in this kind of analysis, we were doing it manually. Every month, we were uh, manually checking all the result page on Google. We were analyzing this URL for this position, this URL for this position, and it was not really useful because once you've tracked your, your, your uh, negativity index at first, it doesn't change us that much unless you do something behind. So we decided to do it automatically. We created a tool, which is called ROS, and what we do is to do this same thing that we were seeing previously, but automatically. Uh, this tool is not for sale. We use it internally because we, as I was saying at the beginning, for us it's very important for to show the client the effect of uh, the strategy behind on reputation and search. As we all know in SEO, we always uh, use 
positive indexes, positions, organic traffic, and so on. But we didn't have the way of showing the client this kind of improvement with when, when working on, on reputation.